Hey guys, Samurai Carpenter, back at ya. I don't know why I'm holding antlers. I, uh, they were just sitting here. Gonna make something cool out of them one day. But for now, I use them just to rattle in big bucks so I can shoot them with my bow. Anyways, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen the teeth on your bandsaw mill blades and set the teeth. I have a Norwood HD36 bandsaw mill. It's my tooth setter. It goes in this little Black & Decker clamp stand thingy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how long it takes to set the teeth and sharpen the teeth on a bandsaw mill blade. So, you know, just watching these promo videos that Norwood puts out being like, this is so easy. You know, it gets easier as you do it, and I've only done it a couple times, but uh, yeah, I just want to kind of give you guys an honest review about what it's like to run a bandsaw mill so that you're not going to go out and spend $20,000 and realize that wasn't a very good idea. So, anyways, let's get to it. So in order to set your teeth properly, you put your blade in the clamp, you line up a raker tooth against the indicator foot here, the raker teeth are straight, you clamp this down, and then when it's clamped you set your dial so that your pin is on zero, and that's basically your baseline measurement. And uh, for these blades that I'm using for the Norwood HD36, the manufacturer recommends twice the thickness of the blade. So if the blade is 0.42, each set should be 0 0.21, 0 0.21, total thickness 0 0.84. I don't really know what those decimals mean, but I'm just following the instructions. And uh, so yeah, it's bending each tooth exactly 0.2 whatever majillas meters of an inch or whatever I don't know I just follow the dial so you move your first raker tooth out of the way go to the tooth that's set away punch it down I need that. you can if you need more set you just set this little screw forward a little bit punch that in there 0.21 and you gotta go around every third tooth that's facing away. Do the same thing all the way around. It took me about 40 minutes to do this blade. Well, that took about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes just to go around the loop there, grind it all up. Sharpening is a lot faster than the two setting, I'll tell you that. But uh, all together, we're looking at close to an hour on this blade. I'm definitely going to be calling a local blade sharpening place. <laughs> See if they'll do it for me for cheaper because, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of time. But... I'm sure I'll get better and better at it as I go on, and uh, hopefully I cut my time down to about, I don't know, I'd say around half an hour a blade, hopefully. But uh, the two setting takes a lot of time, so we'll see. It'll probably still take around 40, 40 minutes per blade, I think, to set the teeth and sharpen them when you're all said and done. So that's just the reality of it, but this blade's sharp, its teeth are set. Let's go put it in the sawmill, see how she cuts, see if I did it right. <laughs> My disclaimer is I'm just a beginner at this, guys. So feel free to leave comments, hints, tips, anything you think will help me get this done quicker. And, uh, yeah, don't blame me if you screwed it up because I'm just learning myself and I just wanted to share the process with you guys. So let's go put this in the mill, see how she cuts. 
Well, I cut the log like a boss, and uh, everything looked good. There was no uh, irregular cutting marks, saw marks on the wood surface, which would let me know that the teeth were out of set, so it looks like I set the teeth properly. And uh, she cut great, cut straight, and the blade was nice and sharp, so everything worked out well. And uh, yeah, if you're trying to figure out your own Norwood mill, hopefully this video will help you out. And uh, if not, at least it will give you a good perspective of what it takes to run a sawmill. So That's the Samurai's two bits for this week. Stay tuned, I'm going to be doing an honest buy it bit. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a tool review on the mill itself, the Norwood HD36. So if you're interested in sawmills, you've been thinking about getting one, or you got one yourself, tune into that video. That will be up on the Samurai page as well. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, pff, what are you thinking? Hit that subscribe button, man. Jeez. I'm out here working my ass off for you. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Samurai out.